I want to talk a little bit about evil. I often, <laughs> I often see you get asked about this notion yeah. that you can make money as a business without doing evil. And it seems possible that once you get to a certain size, you may always be evil to someone, or you may have set up what is an impossible standard. And I guess it, I was just wondering if you ever wish you hadn't put that in there. Uh, no, actually, we're very happy about the, the evil or the lack of evil comment. Um, uh, my own view on Google uh, and where, where we are now is that we are facing the kind of criticisms that you're, that you're referencing because we are a company that is a disruptor. And we're also a company of, of significant scale. And I think we all, we all agree to that. Um, and we're in the information business. And people care a lot about information for many legitimate reasons. And by the way, the rules differ from country to country. So we have to deal with different standards, different social standards, different cultural standards for what people want. So from our perspective, the principle of do no evil was not a rule in the sense that there was a defining line and you may do this and you may not do that. But it was more a practice that if something appears evil, it's OK in our culture for an employee of any kind to say anywhere, to say, I think that's evil. And it forces the conversation. So it's a way of our culture, if you will, correcting around maybe we're making a mistake, or maybe we're too aggressive here, or we're too greedy here, or what have you. And as long as we're focused on end user benefit, we should be just fine. And it's so interesting, because it feels like that's always been your position. And yet, you make people kind of nervous. What do you think it is about Google at this point that makes people feel generally uneasy? We had a lot of user questions just saying, I'm scared. You have all of my stuff. You know, Are you Skynet? What do you, what do you think it is? Is it size? Is it the information? I think it's a combination of size and scale. And we work hard to communicate our values as a company. We also make it easier for people who are dissatisfied with Google to leave Google. We have the strangely named Data Liberation Front group whose job is to get information out of Google and into your, our competitors' systems. So we think that consumers not only can trust us because of our public statements, plus if we violated them, we would be uh, sort of destroyed in the media and our brand. But also, it, we wouldn't do it for other reasons, good moral reasons. And finally, uh, we, we want to keep them as a customer, and we make it easy for them to switch. I wanted to just go back to the evil notion for a second and just ask real quick, has your cultural n definition of evil changed as you've grown from a smaller company focused almost exclusively on search to a company that is doing so many different things right now? The significant change, I think, has been the globalization of the company. Because there are things which are not evil in um, America, which are evil in other cultures. And vice versa. And, and vice think. versa. And so there have been a number of cases, which I'd rather not go into, where we've, been, we've had robust conversations, if you will, where an employee or a group says, look, this is just wrong, but it's OK with American sensibilities, uh, and, and vice versa. And we, we've taken the position that we are a global company, and not just an American company. We have to represent, represent and respect that. Uh, certainly, the China decision, uh, which was very controversial at the time, but I think ultimately the right one for us, is another example of a tortured internal discussion, which ultimately came to roughly the right outcome.